Hello, my name is Kai Hughes. We're going to, to do a little data science tutorial today. Um, so basically, you're going to have to download, do that, download Jupyter Notebook. Um, it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, yeah. And then, so basically, we're also using this this um, CSV file. So we're downloading data from uh, um, who? Um, and then I'm using the CSV file, so the daily case and depths are reported by date. Report to who? Sure. Um, so yeah, so I'm using this one. Um, so it should look something like this, kind of. Uh, yeah, so you got the, the rows here and the columns here. Uh, so yeah, so we're just going to import NumPy as NP, so that's pretty standard stuff. Put PAN as PD, put OS, put your OLib. So we're going to run that real quick. Great. And then we need to create a data frame. So we can direct to create a data frame with pandas. So we just put PD dot read underscore CSV, which is the read CSV file. And you just put the path of the CSV. Kind of got here, and then you can read the CSV file, and then we'll output it as data frame as well. So display the data frame, you can do PDF. Cool, so we got that, and we have 195,525 rows by columns. You can also get that from df.shape, which will display the shape. Uh, so, yeah, easy stuff. So, yeah, 195,525 by 8, so 195,525 rows by eight columns um, as did. Um, what else can we do? So, um, okay, we can do the first five rows. So we can do df dot, um, df dot, um, yeah, so head, <laughs> there you go. Uh, cool, so yeah, the first five rows, and you get last five rows by df dot tail. Okay, stuff, um, cool, so you get the yeah, last five. And what else we do? Okay, so we can get the indexes. So the indexes aren't actually part of the CSV file itself. Um, so we can we can go access them. So yeah, so it's, it's not actually part of the data frame file itself. The first column is data reported. Um, okay, so we can access that. So we'll just do df underscore index is equal to uh, df dot index. Cool. And then we show, and then um, let me output that as well. Oh, so yeah, so you get so you see that yeah, it starts at zero, so one is nine five and five and twenty-five, step one, cool. And then um you can also get the columns as well. So we'll do df dot columns uh zero two df dot columns. So we're just accessing the columns here. Uh, what am I doing? Columns, there you go. And then we'll just output that. So df underscore columns. And we should just get a yeah, so you get a bunch of NumPy array of all the columns here, so data reported, country code, etc. Um, cool. And then uh, you can also just kind of have a select amount of the um, how many columns we want. So we'll say we have the first ten. Let's well, be the eleven. That'd be ten. Um, so zero for nine. Yeah, cool. And then um, okay, so I guess we can just do this for a bit of fun as well, I suppose. So um have it from okay we'll do this um we'll do the length of the date frame uh, minus three minus five uh, so let's get the and then length date frame um and then yeah so that should just output um the last five yeah, so it's the last five rows so um, so I do that as well um okay so what else can we do Okay, so we can do, um, we can just find specific country. So we'll do df, um, df dot uh, country. We'll say it's equal to, um, I don't know, um, Viet, um, um, cool. And then, Um, great, so we've got all the countries where the country is Vietnam. Uh, we can also get um, access it like this. So, um, might as well do this now. Um, DF uh, country. Cool, so you just get all the countries uh, to the index there. So that's pretty basic stuff. And then we can also do, um, 
I think. Um, so df dot locate, and then uh, we'll do df dot. So we get the new cases um, where it's only greater than a thousand. So all of them are greater than a thousand, and then uh, we'll specify what columns we want to see. So we'll say we want to see. Do the new cases column. New cases column. Uh, we'll say you want to see the country column. And we'll, we'll, we'll start with that. That's fine. Um, cool. And then we'll run that. Cool. So we just get the new cases and the country. Um, okay, cool. And then we'll do this too. So the data frame dot locate. We'll do def df dot country. So where the country is equal to we'll do the country code actually. Um country code is equal to uh, US. Cool. Um and then so what columns do you want to display? So we will display um the new cases column. And we'll display the um, country code column. Country code column. Um, yeah, we'll just go for that. Yeah, we'll go for that too. Um, cool. So we get that. It's fine. Um, and then what else can we do? Um, okay, so we can get. Okay, so we'll get. We'll do df dot lock so okay so we're gonna get the countries um, where the country code is equivalent to um, it's greater than a thousand so we'll just do a double one here so it's greater than a thousand um, the country code is greater than a thousand no that's not right the country is greater than is so go um I'm gonna do ambassand uh, and so this is what I'm trying to do so df dot new cases is greater than a thousand stuff so uh, and then what do you want to see here so um Okay, so we'll see the country code column and the um, new cases cases column, um, and also have the data report column. Cool. Okay, cool, and then. You get all that. Um, uh, okay, cool. And then, yeah, so, uh, okay, so, we'll do this. So, um, df dot lock, um, df dot country, country underscore code. Equivalent to let's make it the US. Um, and where uh, so once the new cases, uh, that's fine. Um, that's also fine. Uh, the new cases. Great. And then we'll get the uh, oh, sum. So sum of the new cases where the country code is the US. Cool. So new cases equals uh, 99,465,958. And the data type is int. Cool. Um, and then we'll also get, we'll also get the max. So 
um, the max new cases. So we'll just try that, be a bit of fun. Um, max, cool. And then that's great. Uh, that is. Um, okay, so it's 1.25 million, um, and then uh, we'll get the min as well, just for fun. So that's the minimum for a day in the US. So let's do min. Cool. Have I got access to the greater? Okay, cool. Zero. Um, so that's the minimum. And then, what's it? Did I, did I display all the goals? Tail index columns edit. Okay, cool. All right. I guess we can just end that tutorial. It's a bit of fun. It was kind of yeah, quite basic stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it helps someone. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? Um. Anyway, yeah. I'll see you again. Uh, thanks for watching. Bit of fun. Bye.